Welcome back to the Harport Pub, everybody. Got a beer here. Somehow this one got overlooked. This was sent to me by Josh Ellis. It's the last beer that he sent me, and I don't know how I overlooked it, but I found it. I checked my list. This is from Josh Ellis. So thanks, Josh. Sorry this one took ooh, way too long for me to get, get to. But this is uh, from Zipline Brewing Company. And this is uh, brewed and bottled by Zipline Brewing Company in Lincoln, Nebraska. I have had a Zipline beer before. Don't think I've had the Copper Alt. This is 5.2% uh, alcohol by volume. A hybrid style between an ale and a lager. This bronze-hued brew goes down easy with subtle nuances of chocolate and hazelnut. Ooh, sounds, sounds divine. What did I do with my opener? It's in my pocket so nobody can hawk it. All right, let's see what she looks like. Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian the Beer Snob. Mm, nice aroma. My nose was pretty far from the glass when I was pouring it, but it uh, filled the space with a nice smell. Mm, and boy, she is... She is nice and dark up against the light. She's looking like she might have uh, just a twinge of cloudiness. It's not throughout the entire beer. It looks like it's just got some some cloudy streaks in it, but I'm eager to get this in my parched body. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. That is a good, flavorful beer. And the name Copper Alt fits it perfectly. All I can say is, if you taste this beer, that is going to be immediately what comes to mind, is copper. It's delicious. Oh. This has got a I mean, I think I, I had had a Zipline beer when I was in Nebraska over the summer last year. Um, it says it's a brave new brew. Serve it at 45 degrees Fahrenheit. My beer fridge in there is set to 40 degrees, but I did have the beer out sitting on the bar while I was setting up, so... It might be 45, but it's really a tasty, tasty brew. Pretty simple label. Doesn't really, doesn't really say a whole lot. And I think this is very similar to the label of the beer that I did have from Zipline. So they keep it simple, but it's good. And I know I, I cannot get Zipline here where I'm at in Georgia. Josh lives in... Iowa, right next door to Nebraska, so that's how he gets his hands on it, but it is a good solid brew. I love the color, I love the smell, and I love the flavor. They're saying it's a hybrid style between a an ale and a lager. It's nice. It's worth finding. If you can get it, go ahead and let me know what you think of it in the comments below. That is really, really flavorful. I like it. Um, I was discussing this with some, some people today. You know, it's like when you first start drinking beers, if you... Most people don't start out with top shelf beers. You know, they start out with the cheap beers. And so that's what they think beer tastes like. 
Um, you know, some people are more experimentable. That's right, experimentable. So they'll try other beers. And then they'll find that they like some styles better than others. Or, you know, uh, some that they absolutely don't like. But then the, the other group of people who start out drinking a particular beer, so that's just what their palate thinks beer tastes like, so that's the only thing they're ever going to drink their whole life. Um, man, if you're not trying some of these some of these craft beers, you, you're really missing out. You're really missing out. I'm not saying change up your daily drinker. If you like what you're drinking on the daily, that's fine. But there's a lot of great tasting things out there that um, you're really going to miss out on if you don't give them at least a try. So this has a very nice head. It's um, it's like a mocha colored head. And it's got peaks on it. You know, it's like looking down at a, on a mountain range there. It's not a flat head. It's, uh, oh, it just smells so good. It tastes so good. I love it. Thanks, Josh Ellis, for sending me this. I finally made it through your last beer, buddy, and I thank you for sending it. I do apologize for being so late getting to it, but I'm really going to savor this one. So I'm going to sign off. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you all next time. And hey, bring a friend with you. Everybody's welcome in the Hardport Pub. You can bring one or you can bring ten or bring everybody you know. We'll make room. I promise we'll make room. So... Until next time, cheers. Oh, yes.